What is up guys, it's your boy Swalam here, back with another Classic WoW video for Season of Discovery. Now, today we are talking about the ever-losing battle between us gamers, Blizzard and the bots, and who's winning that battle? I think it's the botters. Today we're taking a look at the botting situation in Season of Discovery. It has gradually gotten worse and worse and worse, and what I'm personally seeing right now is that it's going in waves, where sometimes you see bots all over the place, then suddenly you don't see them for like two or three days, and then they all come back. It's like a massive wave of fish or like um, birds or whatever. They just like, they come. They go away for like a few days, then they're there again, and they're like infesting every single farm you can see, both open world farms, dungeons, it's like sometimes I can see stockades being absolute empty for two days, and then suddenly there's 50 level 25 rogues in stockades again, and same thing in Shadow Fan Keep and Scarlet Monastery, you name it. All of the botting dungeons and botting places, they can be so empty for two or three days, and then they can be so full all of a sudden. And why is that? It's because Blizzard are banning the bots in waves. Like, for example, they're releasing, I think it's they're releasing monthly waves right now, or like a monthly kind of update on Wowhead at least, where they're talking about how many bots they're banning, which is great, they're doing something, but they're banning them in such long length of waves that the bots always come back and they always farm gold and they always make a profit before being banned. So let's just take a look at what the bots are doing right now, I found some very fun clips to look at, both in the open world and inside dungeons, and to me the dungeon ones are kind of the most interesting ones, because they're using the same strategy that you've been seeing all over the place like the last 10 years and they're still doing the same exact thing like 10 years later which is absurd either way clip number one let's just take a look at what they're doing in the open world so they're really easy to identify even in the open world as well you can see what a bot is like and what a non-bot is like and here you can see this guy is even like tricking the bots to attack him as you can see here the bot will automatically attack anything attackable in a certain range so in this case the bot is just going to keep attacking him with the same exact spell over and over and over again and just stand in the same place and do the same thing until going out of mana. It's like you can see mage bots in the open world and hunter bots, the, those two classes are really popular if they're doing open world stuff, and rogues are very popular for dungeons because they usually can stealth and stealth farm, and even open locked objects like locked chests for example. So mages and hunters are really really popular for open world, and rogues are really popular for dungeon farming. I think later down the line druids can also be popular for uh, dungeon farming because they can swim and Moradon for example has a lot of water in it in which case having a swim form druid or aqua form druid could be really useful. Either way, clip number one. Clip number two is in Westfall once again, and I really just want to show you these so you can find them in the open world as well, just to identify what bots look like and where they're farming. And they're usually farming in hyperspawn areas. So for example, the mage we looked at previously, he was farming the fires, and in that camp they hyperspawn. There will always be three the fires mobs up at any single time around that camp, and they can spawn in the camp, up top on the other like on the mountain, and on the other mountain as well. So in those in like that one concentrated area there's always going to be one mob available and same thing right here there will always be two or more flesh rippers or gore tusks at this farm so right here is a really popular hunter location for example with skinning and especially with a hunter pet because they will spawn in a very concentrated area right here so if you if i just click play you can see roughly what it looks like and you can see they have more hunters a, a lot of them dwarf hunters every single one and has like a chinese type of name on the boar as well and they're all targeting the same type of mob and they're all running around the same place and and there's a lot of them right here like look at how many there are just running around this one farm i don't know how many we can count but like even just using this singular frame we can count one two three four five six seven seven in like this one frame and there was a lot of them to the left as well there's just so many of them in the same spot they're, they're not even trying to hide it at this point are they they're not even trying to hide it, they're just like botting in the open world and just being like in the middle of everyone's face. This is right next to a questing location as well for the Alliance, and there's even like, you do quests on this farm. They're in the middle of open, like, it, they're in the middle of, yeah, people. 
They're not even trying to hide the fact that they're botting. It's ridiculous. Now the most fun one though is always going to be the dungeon bots, and we can add this after maintenance. If you log on after the maintenance and check out any singular dungeon, you will see a bunch of bots running in the same exact path, following each other like a wave, there once again, a wave of fish, wave of birds, whatever. You can see a bunch of like the same class and the same gear people running in the exact same direction, following the exact same path, and you can see them in Wailing Caverns, Stockades, or in this case, Shadowfang Keep. We have been scouting Stockades before, even on my stream as well, so we've seen like hundreds of bots running to Stockades after the maintenance. And let's take a look at what Shadowfang Keep looks like, as you can see right here after the maintenance on Lone Wolf EU. So I've been playing on this server a little bit myself as well, and um, yeah, you can just see standing at the graveyard right here look at all the nameplates that are like right here in the middle all those nameplates and then take a look at them when they're running to the left and they're all following the exact same path running in uh, yeah the exact same path so they're going to be following like uh, some of them run left and some run right and this way as well but like you can see a bunch of them right here and take a look at where they're running because this is so stupid if you if you watched on classic era for example there was a bunch of bots running into a tree in western plaguelands uh, eastern plaguelands for stratholm farming and what they're doing is they're running into a tree, no clipping into the tree and flying up in the air and then they're running to the entrance and that is what they're doing here as well. So they're going to be running into this tree, no clipping into the tree, going up into the air and flying into the instance. So just take a look at what they're doing here. There is going to be no clipping, they're running once again, a wave of way too many characters, all running into the exact same tree, and right here, like if I just go back a little bit, uh, you can even see a couple of nameplates in the tree that they're going to be no clipping, so you can visually see it, if you take a look at the tree now for the next two seconds, you can see some of them no clipping in the tree. And you can see it here, they're all going into the tree, they're going to be no clipping into the tree, flying up in the air, and going into the actual dungeon from this tree. And you can see there's hundreds of bots in this case, all of them being rogues as well, I believe, I think so, it really looks that way, all of them being rogues, stealthing inside SFK. And when you see them no clipping into the tree like this, you can also pretty much add one and one together, and you can get the fact that they're also going to be no clipping inside the dungeon, which means what? It means they're going to be flying inside the dungeon, and they're going to be able to be walking under the ground in the dungeon to loot, for example, herbs, mining veins, not really that there's too many of those in Shadow Fine Keep, but chests, like chest spawns, they can grab every single chest inside the dungeon, including locked ones, because they're going to be under the ground and no clipping under, and just looting absolutely everything. So yeah, it's just really sad to see, especially for Season of Discovery, because I really think this could be the future of World of Warcraft, and the way this is going, like, the game is absolutely great, but I really wish they would do something more against botting, even just having active game masters, especially now when you know who is no longer working there, maybe we could get active game masters, why not to just have someone actively monitor the servers, and keep them bot free, that shouldn't really be too much to ask for, they're making billions of dollars in revenue, and profit. It, so definitely should be the something that is doable and it will increase the quality of their game by a lot as well and will make their customers way more happy just keeping the game bot free it's either that or they have to make an anti-cheat which apparently it looks like they're not doing either so just they have to do something because the tree and the no clipping for example it's been done for years and they're still using the exact same botting strategy that they were doing like 10 and 15 years ago and it's still working today which which is honestly pathetic. Either way, that's the video for today. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and me ranting for today. If you did, leave a like down below, help spread the message by either sharing this video or sharing your botting investigations on Reddit and on the WoW forums. I think that would do wonders. Either way, once again, thank you so much for watching, and as always, I'll see you again very soon.